is Cali TV, and you're watching a wonderful episode of Around Town. I'm your host, Shardell Moore. On this week's episode, we go to three exclusive places. First and foremost, we're going to bring to you the fashion. Of course, we go behind the scenes to one of the hottest movie premiere, and we unite through the power of music. Stay tuned. It's going to be an amazing show. Congratulations to our Nigerian sister Uche for premiering her wonderful designs, Omek, at the historic mall in Suffrage, Maryland. I mean, Uche is truly a representation of an African queen. Her line features fashion, culture, wonderful garments, and everything that you need for your wonderful fashionistas. Take a look, guys. Uche is truly an example of an extraordinary African woman. I mean, as Africans all over the diaspora, we have passions to do certain things, but Uche really took that initiative and created something that she's passionate about. There were so many emotions going on at the premiere event. Take a look. I have to show you a picture. I don't know if all of you can see this picture or not, but this is Noma. And this is her grandfather from Africa. And when she came to America, what she wanted to do was design clothing. Noma had a very special place in my heart because the very first time I met her, she came running up, sat down on my lap, and tried to wipe the white off my skin. <laughs> it was precious. Uh, and she kept, she kept wiping and wiping, and then she'd look at her fingers. And Noma and I became fast friends. She lived on about 25 cents a day, if they managed to sell some mangoes out on the, on the road. Now I'm sharing this story with you because when I met Uche, Uche was Noma realized to me. This shows that good things are, do come from Africa, and we are so proud of Uche. She's brought her career, her passion so far. She's very passionate about fashion, and you can see this from just looking at her, and she's exemplified that in her store. This means the culmination of the dreams of all the little boys and girls who, in other countries that I worked in, we're struggling so hard to get an education and to see dreams realized. And Uche, who is from Nigeria, um, has worked very hard to reach her dream. My fans actually prompted this because a lot of times I go for, I've been to a lot of fashion shows all over, all over the world. And then anytime I go to a fashion show, the, the person is, where is your store? Where can we buy your stuff? Where, where can we, where are we able to buy your things, you know? so. We, are, we do things online, we buy, people buy things online, but I also wanted, you know, an uh, 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 outlet, an outlet where people are able to work in and then, you know, pick up Oma design. Another excellent film produced by Africans in the diaspora. The Intrap is an amazing movie and Cali TV goes behind the scenes. Take a look. storyline is really really good. It is a big step uh, for somebody from Sierra Leone. Cali TV got a chance to speak to the actors and actresses to see what is this film all about. I think it teaches you about the humanity of life and that no one is perfect. Uh, Demola was not perfect in his marriage, neither was Maybelle, but when you make a commitment to one another, I think that commitment, especially when you commit in front of God, um, is so much larger than what's in the flesh. So I think it teaches us that no one's perfect and forgiveness is just a, a, a heartbeat away. I play a character named Kevin who's a painter and a writer and basically I get set up to extort money from Seer Law's character and Desmond's wife and I end up falling in love with her and we have an affair and it's an amazing affair and it lasts for several weeks 
And then Desmond gets into a, a car accident and Sear breaks it off, but he find out that I'm too attached at that point. So I try to keep going with it and I keep going after her and I start stalking her. And in the end, well, you have to see the rest of the film when it comes out. Now guess who was the surprise guest for the night? Legendary artist Peter Morgan had the chance to speak to Cali TV from the one and only Morgan Heritage. Take a look, guys. We can do this as well, you know what I mean? It's not just Hollywood films are, you know, films from Europe or whatever, but Africa can produce quality movies and quality films. Music with a message, and most importantly, my Africans' brothers and sisters coming together because sometimes in our community we're always dividing each other. But music has that component to bring us all together, and that's exactly what happened in the Sierra Leone Unity concert. People from all over the world from Sierra Leone came together to represent the music. It wasn't about violence, it wasn't about dividing each other, it was uniting and coming together as a global. Force. Cali TV goes behind the scenes. Take a look, guys. TV wants to recognize Shaba Egaton for doing extraordinary things in the Sierra Leone music industry, really bringing everybody together to stop violence. <laughs> We did a stamp the violence, stamp out violence campaign a while ago, and this is just a continuation of that where, you know, basically targeting um, the youths and uh, people that follow us as musicians that we're not going to stand for violence. We come together as unity, as one, and basically, you know, showing them that, you know, no matter what, you know, regardless of our differences, we're always going to be together as one. We are just from war. We are fighting for about eight, nine, ten, twelve years, you know. And then if we started doing such, you know, if even people have grief for each other, this would sign as a positive, positive message to them that they should copy from us, you know, because musicians, we like messengers. Connecting Africans in the diaspora, this is what Cali TV is about. And regardless, no matter where is our location, we are all Africans. Of course, visit us online at CaliTV.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and of course, I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.